On our fourth Wednesday devotion to St. Joseph, we invoke his intercession to obtain for us from God help in our spiritual and temporal needs, for healing and hope for the sick, for the suffering and for those in exile, for peace of soul for the dying, and eternal repose of the souls in purgatory. We invite you to pray a rosary of St. Joseph and to sing a hymn or a song to him. Most importantly, we encourage you to go to confession, go to Mass, and receive Holy Communion for the sacrifice of the Holy Eucharist is the highest form of worship and devotion. Let us now begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that in the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and evermore rejoice in His consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Memorary of St. Joseph Remember, O most pure spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, my great protector, St. Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you. Do not turn down my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. Wednesday Devotion Prayer Glorious St. Joseph, first man to love Mary and hold Jesus in his arms, accept these prayers we now offer to honor you and ask Almighty God's blessing upon us. We pray that all the members of our families will be spiritually and physically protected through life and guided to fulfill wisely and with love the vocations God has given us. Bless our community. Bless God's family of faith in churches throughout the world. Bless all the good works we do to be faithful followers of your foster son, Jesus. We pray especially that God will grant us the favor we now ask, or if it is His will, one that He knows is better for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Bear Our Crosses with Joy Dear St. Joseph, Foster Father of our Savior, You who for many years carried the weight of the world on your shoulders, You whose humility and obedience to God knew of no limits to sacrifice, You who would not hesitate to give all, do all, be all for your Savior and His Holy Mother, and you whose life is so hidden, yet profoundly prominent in God's plan of salvation, intercede for us and grant every member of our family the graces necessary to bear our crosses with joy, to be obedient to the Savior's Holy Catholic Church, and to treat each other and our neighbors in need as images of the crucified Christ. Amen. Priority is suffering in daily basics. Most compassionate and protective Saint Joseph, please come to the aid of all those in great suffering and in need of even the basics of life. We believe and know, beyond any doubt, that you, O great patron of the afflicted, 
We come to the aid of our family and those that we now pray for of this very day. Thank you, great saint, loving father, and constant friend, for already aiding us in this time of need. Amen. Saint Joseph, Soleis in Suffering Compassionate Joseph, one with us in our human condition, together with Mary and Jesus, you experience exile, hunger, and violence, Refusing vengeance, you choose mercy. Your forgiveness breaks the cycle of violence. Through your goodness, God's hope for our humanity is preserved. Joy is yours, for the kingdom of God is your inheritance. Open our compassionate hands in times of war, famine, and exile. Keep us from developing a victim's mentality and make our pain a source of growth. Sustain us in fulfilling our responsibility of cultivating inner peace, joy, and serenity. In your wisdom, counsel us to close all doors to bitterness, so that, watched over by God, we may dance for joy. Amen. Saint Joseph, support in difficulties. Glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph, whose power makes the impossible possible, come to my aid in these times of anguish and difficulty. Take under your protection the serious and troubling situations that I commend to you, that they may have a happy outcome. My beloved Father, all my trust is in you. Let it not be said that I invoke you in vain. And since you can do everything with Jesus and Mary, show me that your goodness is as great as your power. Amen. Prayer of Pope Francis for St. Joseph's Intercession for Migrants and Refugees Father, you entrusted to St. Joseph what you held most precious, the child Jesus and his mother, in order to protect them from the dangers and threats of the wicked. Grant that we may experience his protection and help. May he who shared in the sufferings of those who flee from the hatred of the powerful, console and protect all our brothers and sisters driven by war, poverty, and necessity to leave their homes and their lands to set out as refugees for safer places. Help them, through the intercession of St. Joseph, to find the strength to persevere, give them comfort in sorrows, and courage amid their trials. Grant to those who welcome them some of the tender love of this just and wise Father, who loved Jesus as a true Son and sustained Mary at every step of the way. May he who earned his bread by the work of his hands watch over those who have seen everything in life taken away and obtain for them the dignity of a job and the serenity of a home. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, whom St. Joseph saved by fleeing to Egypt and trusting in the intercession of the Virgin Mary, whom he loved as a faithful husband in accordance with your will. Amen. Saint Joseph, Hope of the Sick Benevolent Joseph, the Son of God, placed his life in your hands. With Mary, you cared for him who is the force of life. May your compassion enfold our fragility, bringing us the comfort of the Divine Presence. We join you in prayer, saying, Lord Jesus, Son of living God, say a word for our healing. Make us sensitive to the illnesses of those close to us. 
Support our efforts and grant us courage in the fight against all evil. Help us to find meaning in God's great project for humanity beyond the sicknesses and sufferings that blind our sight. The love of God be with us as our hope lies with Him. Amen. Saint Joseph, Patron of the Dying Faithful Joseph, with the fulfillment of the Lord's promise, you peacefully leave this world to Jesus and Mary's hands. Your faith transforms death into the solving of life. Thus, God considers you to be a just man. Your heart overflows in the presence of the Lord. With your hands outstretched to God, your night is filled with prayers. Surrounded by the living, you embark upon the great march to the promised land. Open our eyes that we may glimpse the road to life that lies beyond death. May nothing, not denial, anger, or depression separate us from the love of God. Strengthen our faith in God who always finds ways of preserving us in His friendship. Be beside us to hold our hands when we take our first steps toward the eternal kingdom. Amen. Praying with St. Joseph, Souls in Purgatory St. Joseph, reigning in heaven with Jesus and Mary, intercede for the souls in purgatory. Today, in particular, I ask you to turn your gaze to the soul who is most forgotten in purgatory. This soul longs to see the face of God. O oh, good Father, ask the Holy Trinity to take this soul to the glory of heaven today. Remember me, Saint Joseph, when I die. I beg you to be prompt in delivering me from purgatory, so that I can see you, Jesus and Mary, face to face. Amen. Act of Consecration to Saint Joseph O Blessed Joseph, faithful guardian of my Redeemer, Jesus Christ, protector of your chaste spouse, the Virgin Mother of God, I choose you this day to be my special patron and advocate, and I firmly resolve to honor you all the days of my life. Therefore, I humbly beseech you to receive me as your client, to instruct me in every doubt, to comfort me in every affliction, to obtain for me and for all the knowledge and love of the heart of Jesus, and finally to defend and protect me at the hour of my death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.